Today's ridiculous theory. The money was just lonely, so it decided to run away from home. That's just kind of what happened. Yeah, it's a little bit sad. And then started dressing up as a ghost. Hey guys, Vindas here playing some Layton. Uh, yeah, we're going outside. That's what we're doing. We ended in the manager's office for no particular reason, and now we're going outside. To the Layman's Reserve Bank. Uh, I don't know why, but this is where Catriel has told us to go, so uh, clearly she has a nose for where to find stuff. What are we sniffing around about outside for, Cat? The robbery happened inside the bank. That's true, Cheryl, but other than the missing hundred million notes, we haven't found a single trace of criminal activity inside. So I was wondering if we might have better luck out here, asking people if they noticed anything unusual last night or this morning. Yes, perhaps someone might have even seen the culprit. Let's start asking people. Hmm, that is odd. Yeah, w what's odd? Uh, something. Look at that, the banner hanging down for the bank building up there. There's something not right about it. Yeah, because it's on the left side of the building. <laughs> wow, it's edgy. I'm, I'm, I'm here all, uh, I'm here all week. Now I can't put my, like, there's something strange about it. I just can't put my finger on it. Yeah, because it's too high off the ground level. <laughs> oh man, okay, I, I can I could do this all day long, but let's move on. <laughs> Alright then, we can investigate the banner at the same time as asking people out here if they noticed anything. So yeah, we've got three things to do. One of them's going to be the banner, and the other two are probably going to be these people. Eddie, do you have anything? I don't think you do, because yeah, you gave, you, you, you gave us a puzzle. And the thing about someone giving you a puzzle in this game is that the, if they give you a puzzle, they then can't move for the entire rest of the case. Uh, and that's a, a bit weird. Because <laughs> like, it means that they're basically stuck there because you, you can never get into a situation where a puzzle is inaccessible. So they have to always be in the same place forever, giving you that same puzzle over and over again. And that's... um, It's a design choice. Uh, it's, it's a limiting one, though. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you only use it with things that you're never going to have to move again, but whatever. Excuse me, sir. I was wondering if you'd noticed anything strange around here, say last night or this morning. Sorry, what? I I, I, don't, I don't know. I've not seen anything. No. <laughs> this is a so-called business district. Open bracket. Boring. Close bracket. After hours, everyone goes home and it's pretty deserted. If anything had happened here last night or early this morning, I doubt anyone would have been here to see it. Okay, that's a shame. Great, there goes that idea. Well, you are very useless. All right, Mr. Shady Guy, you're shady. Yeah, you're you're the real shady. Maybe around here, I found a few in the gutter before. Can we help? I'm rather wizard at finding things, actually. Wag, who are you, and who says I'm looking for something anyway? What you did just now? You were saying how you found a few in the gutter before. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. You're hearing things. You want to get your ears cleaned out. <laughs> okay, he's being a bit suspicious. What is he? He's, he's, he's just looking for hint coins. He's just tapping around, you know, looking for hint coins. He's, he's basically doing the same thing that we do every time we go anywhere, Catriel. You can't judge him for that. Like, you of all people cannot judge him for that. <laughs> uh, there's not even a gutter, so I don't know <laughs> where he's looking. <laughs> um, but usually, like, trust me, dude, chimneys, always a good spot. Lights, always a good spot. Windows, usually, yeah, just anything that's like a feature of interest, okay? Alright, that's my advice for you. Uh, anyway, let's let's investigate this banner. There must be a bit of a breeze. That long banner with the bank logo is swaying gently. Oh, there's a, there's a thing around here. The things that um, I suppose hold a banner up, but it's not there. Is that what we're dealing with here? Is that the problem? But there's only a banner on one side. Ah, I've got it. I know what's not right about the banner. It's left. I told you it's left. I told you. That's... <laughs> I'm being preemptive with everything I say in this series. It's ridiculous. In other words, there isn't one on the other side, so it looks unbalanced. Unbalanced? Yeah, I suppose it does, miss. You would expect to see one hanging down the other side of the bank entrance as well. Barkies would never have only one banner. I don't suppose it could have anything to do with the robbery. I wonder if it could possibly be connected. Are we saying it was like, I don't know, are we saying someone's climbed up there and it's fallen down? I don't know. Do you see what I see? 
That young man over there, you mean? Yeah, he's been loitering around here looking dodgy for a while now. All right, don't judge. My God. He's just he's just looking for hint coins and saying ellipses. Like, this is all I do all day long. So, <laughs> oh, and sometimes he's saying exclamation marks. He's hightailing it. He went that way, towards the river. I knew it was suspicious from the beginning. <laughs> His name's Shady. <laughs> sure, Cat, it was all you. Nothing to do with old Churl O.C. Combs here. He's clearly behaving strangely ever since we first spotted him. Well, I thought so, anyway. Thank you, Ernest. <laughs> anyway, after him, boys. This kid is, hoss is hotting up. I think I might have just found the lead we've been looking for. Oh, he's gone. Am I supposed to? Oh, it didn't bring up the map and say there's a new place to go. Like it's supposed to. Why didn't it do that? <laughs> All right, well, let's head off to the Thames. Oh, we're going back to the Thames. Yep, this map again. <laughs> uh, and this is, yeah, it's um, Tower Bridge. The Bank of River, yeah, along which runs the pleasant footpath. We keep going to the same places. Obviously, they've spent a lot on the art, so, you know, you want to kind of do that, but... Uh, there's some areas of London that have, are very related to some of these crimes. <laughs> Where'd he go? He must have come this way. Perhaps it's off down a side street or something. Well, I think it would be worth asking people around here if they've seen anyone suspicious. I mean, yes, us. Alright, let's look for hint coins. Someone, since we've last been here, someone has filled up the area with... Uh, new hint coins for people to find. It's nice that they do that, really. Like, I don't know if there's like an automated service that goes around and does it. Maybe it's a government agency. Uh, that's, is that all three, really, already? Oh, that's, that's a shame. I was going to ramble on about government agencies putting hint coins everywhere. But we'll do that next time. Oh, my God. That's creepy. Why are you so creepy? Just standing there, motionless. Like, at least some people have breathing animations. You're just standing there. Like, cap over eyes, staring. Whoa. I don't know if I really want to be here. This is like the kind of place... Uh, I feel that I just... Yeah, I should not be here. Good run. He's jogging on the spot as well. <laughs> One, two, one, two. It's a perfect place to jog. It seems to go on forever. Oh, no, forever. Oh, gosh, she's not even panting. And I found a puzzle. Can you solve it? Okay, thanks for confirming that you're not going to be any use in the rest of this case. <laughs> puzzle number 76. Uh, we've missed 75 somewhere. Maybe it's also somewhere hidden on this screen. Uh, I guess I didn't really get a good look around with the fact we found the hint coins so early. Fortune Teller Fiasco 2. Uh, which was the Fortune Teller one? Alright, you've decided to visit a fabulous Fortune Teller, but it turns out you can decide your own fate with a little bit of brain power. If you can stack all the cards onto the discard pile, you'll have good luck. The only rule is you must either follow number or suit. Yeah, we have seen this before. Okay. We have three of each suit. Perfect. Which numbers do we only have one of? Seven, eight, nine, six. So. Let's get rid of the ones that we only have one. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to start with diamonds. I want to start with hearts. Yes, I want to start with hearts because I only have one three. So, let's do five, three, four. Then we connect that to the four. Uh, five, seven gets us to diamonds. Eight, two gets us to spades. Six, nine is done. All right, cool. There's quite a f seems quite seems like there were quite a few answers to that. Because every suit had two ways of going to another suit. But whatever. You did it. The swirling mists of your future are clearing. I, s I see a diamond card. I'm about to come into great wealth. Is that 100 million pounds worth of great wealth? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> Probably have to give it back, though. That was a gold medal performance. Oh, am I going to get a gold medal for puzzle solving? Uh, I think I deserve a gold medal for puzzle solving. It's kind of just mean that you wouldn't answer the question. <laughs> All right, puzzle number 75. If you got puzzle number 75, you, you might have puzzle number 75 or puzzle number 77. 
difficult to say really until we get into the actual puzzle and they tell us what number it is. Weird how that works. Excuse me, you didn't just see a young man running past, did you? Wearing glasses and activating. Secretively. He might have been looking around for hint coins. That's what he was doing last week when last we saw him. Hello, sir? Arr, I heard you, lass. Can't help you, sorry. I have enough problems of my own at the moment minute anyway. I can't believe I've lost it. It means a world to me, that picture, so it does. <laughs> He's dropped a picture? Oh, you're one of those, are you? Ah, of course I dropped it, you daft Egypt. It was in my shirt pocket, but it must have fallen out. I've looked all over, but I just can't find it anywhere. There was a fair wind just before dawn this morning. That seems like an important fact. Is that what's blown the... Are we going... Okay. Are we seri Are we going to say that the wind is what's responsible for knocking the banner down? And the money is all blown out, blown everywhere. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Sorry, it's been some blown away. Tell you what, why don't you have a go at this brain teaser? I know about a photo. I could do with a laugh. He's got a little smile on his face. Oh. Pulls the number 75. Okay, we've not missed one. Picture the scene. There's a girl selling ice cream at a stall on a viewing platform. Oh. A boy with a camera comes along and takes a boy-girl shot. A boy-girl shot. What is the minimum number of people that could have been on the viewing platform when the photo was taken? What? What? What's a boy-girl shot? <laughs> is it a photo where everyone goes boy girl boy girl why is this not two no why is it not one uh no why is it not zero <laughs> okay right look listen 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 i'm gonna sell this all right there's a girl selling ice cream at a start on a viewing platform all right fact there is a girl selling ice cream at a store on a viewing platform. Fact A. Fact B. A boy with a camera comes along and takes a boy-girl shot. There is no temporal relationship between these two statements. It doesn't say the girl is selling ice cream at a store on a viewing platform when the boy could, with the camera came along and took the shot. Uh, so the girl could have been at home and the boy came at night and took a camera. Now, it also does not say that the boy is on the viewing platform. The boy with the camera could have come along and taken a picture of the viewing platform from off the viewing platform. What? <laughs> like... So the answer could very easily be zero here. Um... Oh god, I don't know. It's, it's some combination of those twists. It's either zero, one, or two. If this is supposed to be the photo, which is not, which again is not clear, then obviously it's nine. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I, I I don't know. Are we supposed to say this is being the photo? Sometimes the picture is important in these puzzles. Sometimes it's not. So, based on that, I'm going to use some hint coins because literally it could be zero, one, two, or many more, <laughs> based on how you want to interpret this. The people mentioned in question are the girl working at the stall, the boy with the camera, and the girl and boy in the picture. The girl and boy in the picture, okay. So, alright, okay. So, this description somehow wants us to understand that when he says, took a boy and girl shot, they're not just talking about, you know, the boy takes a selfie with the girl. Because that, that to me is a boy-girl shot. Like, <laughs> apparently that is not a boy-girl shot. What? I'm sorry, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I, ah, I, ah, right, listen, <laughs> I feel like the ink coins at this point are just an extension of the description, and I need these hints to be able to actually solve the puzzle. <laughs> All right, okay, so they want to, so... They think it, they want to take us right. Oh man, it's, I think it's two. I think what it's getting at is two, because I think what the what the question. I think the twist that the question's going for is that the girl working at the stall and the boy with the camera are the girl and boy in the picture. 
So I think that the twist they are going for is two. I wish it would define what a fucking boy girl shot is, right? Maybe it's just because I'm too old to. Is that the new term for it? A boy girl shot? I don't know. So, in conclusion. Ah, apparently, that's the answer. I wasn't entirely sure. I don't know. I've, I, I enjoyed my rant, though. <laughs> that's the important thing. I did it! The boy girl shot was the girl working the stall and the boy with the camera! That is. That's, that's a weird. Okay, that's not a boy. <laughs> when you said boy, I thought you meant like not uh, five o'clock stubble kind of. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right, okay, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun today. Soul 76 puzzles! We got some Somtam. I don't know what that is. Stone the Crows, that was not bad. I'm impressed, so I am. Hang on. Now what's this now? Have you found something? Me photo, I thought I lost it, but I'm after finding it in me other pocket. Ah, oh, what an idiot I am. I do that all the time. <laughs> oh, smashing, I'm pleased for you. So remind me, what was it you wanted before? You said you were looking for your specs, wasn't it? We are looking for a young man wearing glasses. A very suspicious looking young man. He's a bit shady. The fella acting all weird like he's got some big secret. It was to mean he was headed for the bridge. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Sailor Man, Popeye. Uh, that's definitely his name. Okay, I need to calm down. <laughs> Sorry, I've I I had a rant on that last puzzle, and now I'm uh, now I just need to calm down. When we return, we are gonna go to Tower Bridge. That's the same place that we'll see if the cat's still there. Uh, probably not, but you know. Never hurts to check. Never hurts to look out for a cat. See you next time, folks. This is actually a relatively short episode.